Hi, so welcome to the pillar drill or drill press. Um, we're just going to have a look first of all at putting in a cutting bit. Um, most of the cutters that we'll use at year seven will be uh, literally just drills, drill bits they're called, um, and they're going to go in here. Number one, what we want to do is put the drill bit in. Um, this is the chuck and the chuck in this case has three jaws. Now the problem we have when we put the drill bit in is how we grip the drill bit. Occasionally it can get stuck in just two jaws like that. So what we need to do is slide it in, tighten it by hand and then check that we have it in level just by spinning the drill. When we put it in we're going to make sure that we're gripping just the shank of the cutter and not these cutting flutes here. So if we're holding the swirly part, that's too low down. Now I'm just going to hand tighten that um, to get it to stay there. Then I reach around and I get the chuck key. All of our chuck keys are chained on. Um, it's important that we do that so that if you accidentally leave it in the machine, it's not going to go flying around the room but you're gonna put the chuck key in the side, push your thumb back towards the wall, making sure it doesn't slip out. And then remove it and hang it back out of the way of the working area. Now I wanna check that I've got that um, set in there properly. So I'm just gonna give it a quick on off spin. And what I would see if it wasn't in their level, if it was stuck just between two jaws, is I would see it go um, kind of out of centre and spin not level like that. All good? We've got the drill bit in. You can close that 